Once you familiarize yourself with the forms, you're going to be a lot more empowered to understand your child's program. And so we're going to give you some practical tips about how you can actually get those forms if they exist in your state or in your school district. And the best first start is to go to your State Department of Education's website, if they have one, most do, and find out if there is a link there for forms. IEP forms is what it's usually called on most websites for the states that I've looked into. And you want to actually print them out. Take a look at them, print them out. Sometimes it's in the section of the website that's designed for educators or administrators because they often go to those those websites to print out the forms themselves but really that's a great way Julie to find out whether or not you know what the, the document looks like and how to fill it out and you know what you also need to know is that every state is required under the IDEA the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act to have a parent resource center and find out what where your parent resource center is and I'm sure you can Google it or find it from the um, the website, the mm -hmm. state website, State Department of Education website, and then of course the special education um, section of that website. Um, but that is an incredibly helpful resource because that's the whole purpose of those parent resource centers is to be that link between um, all of this information and boil it down for parents in an accessible and easy and understand format. Yep, and your state may even have a guide or a handbook that helps you fill out IEPs that comes yeah. with, often comes with your procedural safeguards or with the first invitation you get for an IEP meeting, or maybe annually it comes, it depends on the state when, when you might get such a guide. But those kinds of handbooks and guides will tell you how your state is providing guidance and whether or not it gives you some insight into what each portion of your state's IEP or your school district's IEP means or what it's intended to mean. And that's where you'll also find out whether your state has additional requirements beyond those which are federally mandated. And another really great resource that we like, it's an old standby, is just plain old ed.gov. And that's a great resource as well. But really, I think that we're this is a matter of going to your State Department of Special Education's website, and that should be your first stop.